Do you think Nigeria is ready for a woman president? Yes. Nigeria is definitely ready for a woman president, but a lot more is required for me as a woman to convince them that I'm ready. So there are two links to that question. Nigeria, are we ready? Yes. Two, will they easily accept me? No. But I can convince them. I have the time now to show myself to them, let them understand the things I'm going to be doing as their president, and when they key into that, they will vote me. What does a woman president mean for Nigeria? Oh, it means there's... Any benefit? <laughs> um, at least Nigerians will start to experience some love. That's something that I have lacked in the entire history of Nigeria. Our men don't know how to love us, and Nigeria needs a lot of love to come away from this place of misery. You think and empathy death. is all we need? The empathy is not all we need, but we need a lot of empathy to cushion the effect of some of the sacrifices we must make. Well, and let, me, let, me, let me give you an example, uh, not a very good one. Okay. Uh, Hillary Clinton is being a Secretary of State in the United States, yeah. wife of a First Lady of the United States. Yeah. But she, she couldn't become the President of the United States. Strategy. I think she, she picked the wrong strategies. She could have become the President. Had and she, she ran against the wrong person? Um, timing is very important. And just going for it when the perfect time is there is more than important. So when you're waiting for your turn, your turn may never come. But when you see the opportunity and you take it, that's what Obama did. And that's why Obama became president. He didn't wait for his time. So is this your turn? Yes. Is this your time? Yes. How, why do you think so? Because Nigeria is ready. Look at the chaos in the, in the atmosphere. All the generals that normally throw, that normally throw themselves at us, they are all, they're not able to come to um, an agreement. They're all fighting one another. So it's a good time to come in there because while they are doing the fight, you are gathering the votes. And then before you know it, you get in there, they haven't even decided who they want to push on you. And the people are seeing all the good things you are going to do for them. And then they call it protest votes. But it's going to happen. And I want to be right there when it happens so that you can vote for me to be their president. Is your party part of the coalition? Yes, our party is part of the coalition, but that is the strategy. I tell you, you need strategy to win elections. And if you do not have the right strategy, you will be the loser. You will be amongst the people who are holding power. So what's the strategy joining the coalition? We already had it clear that the coalition is never going to be a merger. We don't want to merge with any party. NIP is going to definitely stay NIP forever because we have a clear idea of where we're going to. So you are not going to step there. down for a unitary uh, uh, a candidate of the coalition? The co there will be a consensus candidate. That's definitely going to happen in that coalition. However, I may not have to step down because I could be that consensus candidate. It is the process of picking that candidate that we are still negotiating, but at least there is the fact that we have to all finish our primaries from our various parties and then come into the coalition for a second primary. In that situation, if it is a free and fair uh, game for everybody, I'm likely going to come up tops because I do know what Nigeria needs and I can argue my case anywhere in the world. So if I'm arguing my case and people are seeing that I'm making sense and Nigerians are rooting for me, they must support me to go for the presidency. Have we gotten to the point of politics of issues in Nigeria? Yes, we have. We have really? gotten to the point, at least this coalition understands that the politics we have to play for 2019 is the politics of issues. If we do not play the politics of issues, then we're going to have a really hard time on sitting the incumbent. So they do understand that, and at least I am there to even help make it clearer. You, can, you think if you run against President Buhari, you can win? Oh, yes. Really? Provided the coalition is backing me 100%. If the coalition does not back you? Oh, that would be difficult, but I could still try, you know. <laughs> but let me ask you, what are you bringing to the table as, as a program? What is it that is so important for you and your party, the National Interest Party, that you think that Nigeria needs urgently? Very urgently, we need transparency and accountability, and that's the first thing we are throwing to the table. You think we don't have that presently? We definitely, we have never had that. We've never had a government where the people are accountable to the electorate, where the people are transparent, where we are seeing, actually seeing how much we are making in each and every corner of this country, and also um, watching how it is getting spent, and then taking stock of where it's going to, who is doing contracts, are they able to deliver what they've been contracted to do. We have no idea of what's really happening in this is country. Is that what we need as a nation right we now? We have to have that for us to even move forward. We have to be able to How is that important in any way to, to our own For the lives of those average Nigerians who perhaps cannot fend for themselves, who cannot put food on their table, is transparency what they need? 
Transparency is what would make sure that the resources that will get to them so they can have food on their table, health care, education that they need, it's that transparency that will make sure those funds get to where they need to go to and do the work they're supposed to do. You've talked about bringing people together. In almost all your statements, there's been issues of how you want to bring people together from every sphere of life, from every aspect of the country. How do you hope to do that? It's really all about um, recruitment. You know, you just make it a public recruitment uh, uh, matter and then give the parameters for selecting people from all over the country. And then, you know, what you need is openly for people to openly contest for the opportunity to come to the center. Advanced countries do that all the time. They throw exams out there, and it's only people who meet certain cutoffs that are now brought in for further uh, interviews and then screened into the final area where they are now picked to, be, become, uh, to become civil servants or uh, appointees of government. So that's what we need to do in Nigeria, pick the best of us from every corner and then throw them in the center and let them do the work we need them to do. For A them. lot of people do believe that the issues of electricity, power generation, is, is key to our development as a people. I absolutely agree. I absolutely how, how agree. How do you hope to fix that? It's actually a very, very good question because the worst of our problems is that in privatizing the energy production and distribution in Nigeria, our government did something very unfair. They held it down when it comes to distribution. So you can produce as much energy as you want to in Nigeria, but you must send it to the national grid. And once it gets to the national grid, you lose control. So whatever stories they want to tell you, the distribution area, whatever stories they want to tell you, they can then tell you. They can misbehave, lock you down, refuse to pay you, your business runs down, and you're broke. Should you be president, would, would you change that? 100%. That's the first thing we'll do about electricity. We'll make it possible for private sector people to not only produce but to be, able to be able to transmit and distribute electricity. If you come in as a private investor and you have the capacity to produce your energy and distribute them from Lagos to Kafanchan, please do it. Because there are people who will take that energy off of you and you don't need to be sending it to the national grid before you sell. Yes, it may make it a bit more expensive, but there are people who would rather pay more so that their uh, companies are functioning than pay less and then have no energy. Uh, let's close the, the conversation at this point. And, and I will ask you this question, and in 20 seconds I'd like you to ask, should you lose this race, would you like to work with the president, uh, the government of the day? It depends on what the government of the day is. If it is the APC government that have no direction, 100% no. But if there's a government in power that is clear about the policies it wants to drive and they align with what I need to see for this country, then yes. You know, that to HD, presidential aspirant of the National Interest Party. I wish you the very best of thank luck you. and thank you so much for coming on the program. Thank you. Thank you.